We've been vaccinating for 10 years now. Apart from vaccinating, we've also been uh, bulk milk sampling twice a year. I thought uh, we were on top of BVD. We hadn't had any issues and I was very confident we didn't have a problem. In the last two years, we've been asked by our milk buyer Sainsbury's to tag and test all our calves, which we've been doing. And then I found we had issues with some calves that were PIs, uh, persistently infected. And also we found a cow that was a persistently infected cow. She's gone. And as for the calves, we again, we had them cold. A PI is a persistently infected BVD animal that is an animal that sheds virus its entire life. It was infected in its mother's uterus and the virus became part of its own body and it can't get rid of it. They will always shed the virus and need to be culled from the system because they are a risk to other animals in the herd. There is no cure to fix a PI. Kevin vaccinated on his farm but it wasn't enough on its own to protect his herd from BVD. There are a number of reasons that vaccination might not always be 100% successful. If there is a PI within the group, the immune suppression caused by the BVD virus can cause the immunity to not be effective against BVD. Biosecurity is very important in the control of BVD. It's the main way that BVD virus can enter your herd. Buying in animals is also another major cause of BVD infection to enter herds and therefore quarantine and screening testing of animals when they arrive is very important. Knowing the status of the cattle before you purchase them is also very useful. Going forwards, using the BVD Free England central database where test results are stored will be a helpful tool for farmers. Kevin bulk milk tested his herd here, but never found any virus circulating. This is probably due to the fact that animals either didn't spend very long in the herd and were culled out or that the frequency of their testing wasn't frequent enough to pick up these animals when they were in the herd. Our ongoing BVD strategy is to tag and test every cow that's born and we're vaccinating all the cows and all the heifers uh, once a year and then we're also bulk milk sampling three, four times a year. We are a closed herd which helps a lot with our biosecurity so it basically all the animals have been born on the farm. We don't buy anything in. The only animal we buy in is a stock bull and then he's properly tested before he comes on farm or if he's on farm we quarantine him and test him. We're committed to eradicating BVD here at Bridge Farm because I want a herd of healthy cows without diseases and it's our way of getting that forward so we'll carry on and I'm hoping that it will be eradicated. I also hope it will be eradicated for every other farm. I believe that here especially we're producing a great product our cows are healthy, they're well looked after, and I'm doing everything to make that even better. I think my message to other farmers about controlling BVD is one I've learnt over the last couple of years, is that fact, if you just vaccinate, that's not going to be the answer. You have to tag and test as well, otherwise you, it'll be bubbling away until it rears its ugly head again. It's an economic loss to us all and eradicating it would be good financial sense to us all as well as good for our cows so i think it's a no-brainer that we should be doing it